Bread, glorious bread. It's enjoyed by millions of us as part of a healthy diet. That's why nine million loaves are made and sold in the UK every day. Across the UK, bakeries like this one work around the clock to meet the demand. The bread making that goes on here uses the same ingredients and the same processes that you would use to make bread at home. But the big difference is that the processes here at the bakery are automated. Thanks to some impressive machinery, the production is fast, safe and accurate. The result is 350,000 perfectly fresh loaves every day. So let's find out how technology and the science of bread making allow an industrial bakery to produce great tasting bread on this scale 24-7. It all begins with a crop grown in our fields, wheat. Its grains are crushed or milled down to form flour. It could be white, brown or wholemeal. Special varieties of wheat are chosen to make high quality flour for bread. At the bakery, large quantities of flour are delivered for storage in huge containers called silos. Tankers of flour arrive from the millers twice a day. The flour has to come with a certificate as proof of its quality and purity. An unbroken seal shows the baker that nobody has tampered with the contents. Food safety and hygiene are priorities at every stage. After the security checks, the flour is pumped straight from the tanker into the silos. Each silo can hold 60 tonnes of flour. There are other main ingredients needed. There's salt dissolved in water to add taste and help in a process called proving, which you'll see later. There's vegetable fat used in small amounts to make the loaves lighter and extend the shelf life of the bread. And finally, there's a living organism called yeast, which is used to make the bread rise. To work well, yeast has to be kept at the right temperature. Computers constantly control the temperature of the yeast. Additional ingredients, such as seeds and nuts for specialty bread, are delivered to the storeroom. Throughout the production process, routine controls including sieving and metal detection take place. Tests like these help prevent risk of contamination. ingredients are pumped along overhead pipeways and straight into a giant mixer. Extra ingredients, like the seeds needed in smaller quantities, are added manually. With the help of touchscreen technology, the correct quantity of each ingredient is added. These mixers can hold a quarter of a tonne of flour. The ingredients are mixed at 360 revolutions per minute for about four minutes. They combine to form dough. On this scale, accuracy is the name of the game. A single mistake could mean that thousands of pounds worth of loaves are wasted. So technology like this helps control quantities, timings, temperatures and speeds throughout the bread making process to ensure that loaves are made to perfection. Batches of dough are roughly divided into pieces for what will become 800 gram loaves, about 600 every minute. Right now, the dough contains a lot of water. Much of this will be lost during the next stages of the bread making. At home, you'd have to knead the dough by hand, but here it enters a conical moulder which shapes it into balls very, very quickly. The next crucial step in the bread making process is called proving. After all that high speed mixing and moulding, the dough needs to relax and soften 
so it's left to sit in a prover. Here, the loaves circulate on moving shelves in fan control temperatures. As the dough rests during this first stage of proving, the yeast is just beginning to become active. After about eight minutes, the first proving is complete. The dough is rolled, air bubbles are squeezed out, and it's moulded into the right shape and length. Then it's into the tins, and along the conveyor belt into the final prover. This is where the yeast will really set to work. Before it can be baked, the dough needs time in a much warmer area, at about 45 degrees Celsius. Yeast is alive, and like all living organisms, it needs food for energy. In warm and humid conditions, yeast, just like this, breaks down parts of the flour and uses the very simple types of sugar released for respiration. As the flour breaks down, little bubbles of carbon dioxide gas form and fill up the dough so it rises. The dough gains structure and strength as it is left to prove, this time for 50 minutes. The results are dramatic. The dough loaves are now three times the size they were. Now fully proven, the loaves continue down the production line. Time for the finishing touches. And into the travelling oven to be baked at a temperature of 260 degrees Celsius. Like a lot of equipment at the bakery, the vast oven is made of stainless steel. That's because it's heat resistant material. It's also easy to clean. The loaf tins move slowly through the immense oven for about 20 minutes until the bread is perfectly baked. Just an hour and a half after the ingredients were first mixed to form dough, a delicious batch of freshly baked loaves appears. Quality assurance tests are carried out. Bread has to emerge from the oven with a suitable core temperature. It also has to be the right height and weight. The loaves are removed from their tins by suction before their journey continues towards the longest stage in the whole process, cooling. Long, slow cooling protects against mould formation when the loaves are sliced. As the bread sits in the cooler for two or three hours, a nice soft crust forms. Finally, the loaves are sent off to be split, sliced and packaged. In this machine, the bread is bagged. By law, other information such as ingredients, weight and best before dates must be included on the packaging. Tags with essential codes are added. These codes mean that not just every single loaf, but every single ingredient can be traced all the way back to its source. The loaves are now at their target weight. Finished bread is neatly stacked and dispatched to the distribution centre. From start to finish, the bread making process, including cooling and packaging, has taken just four hours. Twice a day, loaves are loaded onto lorries to be transported to shops within a matter of hours. Thanks to nature's ingredients, a team of dedicated bakers 
and state-of-the-art technology, there will be fresh bread on our tables whenever we want it. Thank you.